Welcome to how to make iPhone apps. In this video we will learn the following. Let me introduce you to Sean. Thanks Sean, take it away. In this session we're going to use Apple's particle system called the CA emitter layer to create a particle effect. Let's go ahead and open Xcode, create file new project, select a single view application, select next, name it particle star, and use automatic reference counting, select next, go ahead and create it in your folder system, and <clears throat> in the view controller we're going to go ahead and run this app real fast by selecting the run button here and you see we have a gray screen and that's just what our app looks like now you go to the viewcontroller.m file which is the implementation file we're going to change that view background to black so go to the view did load method and select self.view.backgroundcolor equal to UI color black color we save this and we run again we now have a black background and this will be useful when we start animating we're going to end up animating a star uh, with the particle system. So in the supporting files, right click, control, control right click, add files to particle star, and in your sample code, go ahead and go to the graphics folder, go to the particles folder and the stars. Here we have a number of stars available. I'm going to choose this a Miller star as the image that I'll be using in the particle system. Go ahead and select copy, select add, and as we click on this we see that we have this star that we're going to use in our particle system. Go ahead and go back to the viewcontroller.m file and let's start writing our code for our particle system. And the first order of business is to um, grab a CA emitter layer. And we're going to grab this emitter layer layer. And this is the star layer that we're going to be working with for our particle system. As you notice, it doesn't recognize anything here. The system says, what is this undeclared identifier? We're going to need to add a library. So we'll go ahead and do import, and it's going to be core, quartz core, quartz core dot h. So this is the foundation framework uh, for our emitter layer. Make sure you have this imported. Now this shows up as a valid library. Go ahead and start working with our layer. The only thing we're going to do here for our layer is we're going to um, create a shape and we're going to work with this layer of spear for our emitter shape. And then we're going to add an emitter cell that we will then add to this emitter layer. So go ahead and create a CA emitter cell and it's going to be of the type emitter cell and this scale says what the shape or particle shape um, size is. So we have a pretty big image here 
we want to scale it down to 10% uh, of this image which was 0.1 uh, birth rate and this says how many particles per second uh, that we want the emitter CM, to create and then lifetime is how many we want out there how many of these particles which will end up being a star we want out there at a time and we only want five velocity is the speed of our effect which is going to be this y acceleration so we're going to have the particle accelerate across the y axis all the way to 400y and of course this x acceleration is going to be 30 to that definition here and that's going to be an acceleration of the x along the x-axis and then um, our contents is going to be a, that star image um, so let's go ahead and go to um, our star image reference we're going to go ahead and grab a UI image uh, from the image named Miller star and then we're going to grab its CG image and because this expects a CG image uh, we need to reference it this way so it's called a cast we're casting it to this ID um, so the emitter cell can now handle it so we just set up all these variables for our particle and then we assign the image as a content of that so in effect uh, we're defining how we want our particle to behave here and we're assigning the image that we will use for that particle for the contents now our, our next and final step is to um, add this cell which is a CA emitter cell to our emitter layer and then of course we need to add that emitter layer to our view. Let's go ahead and do those two steps. So here we have the star layer emitter cells and as you notice here we're gonna create an array assigning this emitter cell and because it's an array uh, we could set up some other emitter cells as well and add it so we can have many particles out there maybe we could use a ball or something else as our image for another emitter cell um, so it's wide open um, you can add uh, many particles to this emitter layer so with the star layer we're going to go ahead and add as a sub layer the star layer to our V layer and so now we have this particle system tied to our view let's go ahead and run this and see how it works as you see I have a a linking error if I click on here and it doesn't recognize the CA classes so that just tells me that I must be missing the uh, library in the project. Let's go ahead and go to the particle star project here. <clears throat> and in build phases, we're going to link the binary with libraries. We're going to add the quartz core library to the um, app. I'm just going to left drag it into this frameworks folder because I like it to be organized. Let's go ahead and run it again. And now we should have our particle effects. And 
there's quite a few setups that we can do. Let's go ahead and stop this animation. And let's work with the spin. So we're going to spin range it. Let's see how that effect works when we run it. And now it has a rotation effect to it, which is a spin. But I want to have it go the other way. I'm going to quit this. And I could um, tell the spin to go negative 20, and it will go the opposite direction. And now it's pretty fast animation, too. And so you can definitely, there's other um, properties available that you can play with for your uh, particle emitter, which is a CA emitter cell. Uh, feel free to experiment with the other properties available for your animation effects. And that concludes this lesson on how to work with CA emitter layer.